It's not about getting it right the first time. And it's not about being perfect. Productivity is running to a wall and then finding a way to get one inch further. You know, we call it at the office, we talk about pushing a boulder uphill. It's like what it was like in the old days. That's what productivity is, to continue to get a little bit further and to learn from the mistakes I made yesterday. My name is Tyrone Poole. I'm 33 years old and I own a startup called noatfee.com. This is the story of how I went from being homeless to starting my own company. My PC allowed me to turn my life around and now I use it to help others succeed. At first I thought business was just not for me. I wanted to be a fireman. I applied to be in the academy. I wasn't losing to anybody. Like I was, <laughs> I was going to be a Portland fireman. During the training, I got injured and that changed my entire trajectory of life, one slip. Ended up having to be at the hospital for quite some time. And then uh, after that, I was on crutches for almost a year. I didn't have health insurance because I had quit my job to go try to join the academy. So my apartment, I got evicted and my car was repossessed. When I got out of the hospital, it was nothing. Like I came out to, to nothing. So I couch topped for a long time and I did that as, as much as I could and then it, just, it ended. I had no place to go. I had burned every single resource that I had. It was nowhere. And I remember looking around and being like, I had hit the actual bottom. That night I like opened my eyes up and was like, this isn't temporary. I'm not just gonna bounce out of this. This is actually gonna take some effort. I had to build my own company to create my next job. Portland Development Commission put on this event that if you were a minority, you could pitch your idea and be heard. They had hundreds of applicants and I won. My idea, my concept was one of the most promising tech startups. They awarded my company with one full year of funding. It was done. We take a single background check from a single applicant and screen it against every single vacancy in the state. That's thousands of calculations in seconds and produce a list of properties that these renters can get the keys from today. My kids will never know what it's like to get denied to a property because there won't be any denials. People only go to places they qualify for. It just came to me that I can solve a problem that has been existing since the beginning of time using technology. No one had ever introduced technology to the rental process. I was the first one to do it. It can be 25,000 vacancies and we go through them in five seconds. Without technology, that process would still be a 90 days plus process for a renter to be able to find a place they qualify for and get the keys for it. We had 1,700 people create an account in the first 30 days. We got to the point where we were signing up 70 companies a month. And now we literally launch one to two states every single month. It's all changing every day. New tools come out, new bugs get found, new issues. It's problem solving, but uh, I can't solve all the problems myself. So I go out and find a bunch of people and then I put them in the position that they specialize in and I make sure they have everything they need to solve those problems every single day. This whole process has changed the way I work with people. It's changed the way I look at everyone. My eyes are completely open to the potential in everybody because people open their eyes to the potential in me. And when I actually had a plan, I changed everything. I knew what I needed to accomplish to get where I wanted to go. People look at homeless people as um, a lower class, you know, a, a group of people who are where they are because they made horrible decisions, they're irresponsible, they have addictions, you know. In the same way I looked at it, you know. That's why uh, I'm no better than the next person who judges that group of people, or at least I wasn't. But the truth is, everybody has a story. 